What's happening? I don't know. Unless, uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? <laughs> Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? I can't let him Stay know I'm here. It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, huh. everybody will be driving these babies. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get, get out of here before he sees me. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? 
off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. Save your grandfather. I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. What was that? Four fifty-five. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Crockett. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa's uh, on jury duty, and I have to get him his medicine. Oh, well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking and get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Go away. Go away, boy! Crap! Einstein! Is it a squirrel, Liney? You wanna play? Okay, let's play. I played this game just... What are you up to, Liney? Go get her, Liney! You! Oh! Get this mangy animal away from me! Come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no. Way to go, Einie. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tana's guys. Ah! Ah! Hey! Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Uh, I have to brief him on what to say to the DEA. Oh, are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking, and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh, my God! What the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. So it seems like everyone in that refuge is pretty gullible. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Marty. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Marty McFly. 
Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Hardy? Uh -huh. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah! Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram! <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking, bringing this fish food to my doorstep? We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. I, I better get in there quick. Contents. One winged goddess. Oops. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crates, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> Your mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform do you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh... Artie, we got a few questions about you and the D.A. D.A. Day D E D. See what I'm working with here. Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Up, sleepyhead. Okay, so 
let's get rid of these guys. Ooh, no wonder Artie's so out of it. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping your life away. Literally. Oh, hey guys, I don't feel so. Say, wake up, you lazy bum. Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down, two to go. Okay. Uh... Shouldn't Kid be back by now? How long you take the stroll? Hey! Hey! What was that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Trying my patience, Audie. Uh, I think there's a way. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Thanks for stash on. Ow! Nay, nay. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Wake up, sleepyhead. about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. That's it. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! Oh! He's gotta hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation? No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. 
When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kid Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, McFly residence. So, wanna come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've gotta go, I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've gotta go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. Okay, um, so it looks like it's time to end the episode here. Um, by the way, I noticed that there's a lot more talking in the game than there is talking from me. So, I hope you don't mind that. The game is the most important part, but... See you guys next time. Bye-bye.